Hi, I'm Dan. I am Bill. And Bennett, welcome. <laughs> I was going to say welcome to Drive the Blakely's, but you're on Drive the Blakely's. Yes. Welcome, you guys, to Drive with the Blakely's. Welcome. Hey, Bennett, what are we drawing on Drive the Blakely's today? Uh, seahorse. Seahorse. Leon Vincible Seahorse. <laughs> uh, requested multiple times, as you can see on the screen. Thank you especially to uh, Ryland Swiftwolf, who's requested this a bunch of times. You know what, Bennett? I would even go so far as to call him a friend of the channel. A friend of the channel. A friend of the channel. A friend of the t Well, we never met him before. Well, you don't have to meet somebody for them to be the friend of the channel. Yeah, like William in Washington. He cool. Yep. All right. So, let us start with... Did I say the Invincibles? See who is? Yeah, okay. So, let's start with his eyeball. I'm going to start with... Maybe it's her eyeball? I don't know. I guess I don't know... Probably bad for me to assume the gender of a, you know, mythological monster or creature. I don't know. Is Seahorse more like Longhorse in that it's a good guy? Or girl. Or girl. Good person. Well, not person. Boy. Ah, <sighs> some of the stuff gets hard to talk about, huh? So, fun fact, I've, 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 I've been kind of working up some sketches of this for a while, because uh, this is actually, I would, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this, I feel, is harder to draw than uh, the long horse that inspired it. There is a lot going on in terms of texture. So we got the eye. Um, what do I want to do next? I think I'm going to do sort of this long snout nose here. And sort of the curve line here for the opening. Well guys, if you guys want, we could even do a behind the scenes episode if you, if you guys comment enough. I wonder if that's what people want. Do you guys want that? Comment down below. So a lot of what's going to be going on with this seahorse is what I'm doing right now. These sort of, I don't even really know how to describe these. They're kind of like seaweed-ish. Like coral? Well, no, like not coral. coral. Like coral? No, not coral, because they don't look to be hard. They look like they're kind of, it looks like a frill, mm -hmm. but like kind of globby too. Globby? That, that's my best way to describe it that I can think of is this kind of a globby, I know. That's a weird word to say, globby. But it is, it's like, or like kelpy. I'm trying to also keep my head out of the shot here since sometimes when I am do a lot of detail work, my head kind of drifts closer and closer to the paper. Because your head is thick. Also dead, you're balding. Oh, yes, thank you for pointing that out, Bennett. You're welcome. Now, when uh, Charlie kept calling me Boomer, people were like, people kind of got upset at him in the comments. They were like, this kid is so disrespectful to his dad, blah, blah, blah. I wonder if people are going to call you out now in the comments, Bennett, for uh, talking about me being bald. Nah, they wouldn't do that. They're just the people who watch this video. Hey, whoa, no, hey, watch it now, watch it now. All right, so we've kind of got his head. Um, yeah, so a lot of his body now is just going to be sort of a, uh, uh, well, you'll see. It's going to be lines like this on the bottom, right? It's going to be kind of a, a wavy, curvy line here, and then more of this frill on the top. Uh, another thing that... I kind of had to change, and another reason why this one took me, I think, I, I feel like I spent more time sort of working this up than I do on a lot of them, was that um, there's just a lot of him. Oh no. I know. I will be right back. You guys probably can't hear it, but uh, Bennett's mom is calling him. My wife, Bennett's mom is calling him. So I'm going to keep... Gonna keep working on this here. 
but there's just a lot of um, a lot of detail here. So do you guys want to hear a fun fact? Uh, well, I don't know. Do they want to hear a fun fact? Yes, they probably do. Okay. So guys, the fun fact is I have ne is that I've only tripped down a staircase and fallen down a staircase once. Okay. Unlike a certain president. Uh, Gerald Ford? No. Donald Trump? No. Joe Biden, don't you remember? It was all of his news. He tripped on a staircase like a noob. I mean, I, I saw something. Didn't he trip and fall and hurt himself during the campaign or something? I don't know. Why? I'm not sure why we're talking about the president injuring himself. But the last thing I want is for our channel to be kind of a political thing. So. Or the U.S. Army coming. <laughs> I don't think the U.S. Army is going to come because we're talking about... Oops. Because we're talking crap about the president. Are we talking crap about the president? Are we talking crap about the president? I mean, I'm not. I mean, I am. Oh, okay. Well, when the Secret Service come to investigate you, I'm going to tell you... I'm going to tell them that uh, you get all your political opinions from mom. What? Well, I don't get all my political opinions from mom. I get all my... Pill on my all my opinion, all from my Nana? political, yes, from Nana. From from a boomer. <laughs> you better take that. <laughs> what? No. Oh. Nana is literally a baby boomer. She is. Yeah, and that's the age that boomers are. As much as Charlie would like to make fun of me, I'm really the, I'm a son of a boomer. Of two boomers, really. So. As painful as that is to admit. You're old. Well, yeah, but I'm not as old as a boomer. True that. I'm technically, I think, Gen X. I'm too old to be a millennial, but not by much. I think mom might even technically qualify as a millennial. Well... So yeah, sorry if we're not talking much about this drawing, but it is really just like a lot of this. Whenever I look at it, it's just saying, I'm gonna rip your soul out with my weird mouth and I don't think it is though. I'm gonna rip out your beep beep. I'm gonna beep your beep 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 beep. Okay, so, sh first of all, hush that up right up. Um, so let's, I'm gonna now move on to this section. I didn't, oh, so what I started to say before that whole kerfuffle with your mom. Kerfuffle? Yeah, the, the whole business with mom is that um, in Leon Vincible's thing, his is at the bottom of the ocean, so it's very dark. And so his um, so seahorse is kind of coming and going in the darkness. Like, parts are concealed, parts are there. Wait, how obviously, is this thing alive? It's at the bottom of the ocean. It should be squished. Obviously, well, it adapted to live there, I would assume. Um, obviously, I because I'm not gonna make my entire paper black except for a few spots. Like I can't really do that. Yeah, that's that's why I have all these black spots on my paper. What I mean though is that it would be it would it's not gonna look the same for me to try and have it fade into the background. So I'm just gonna basically have him come and go here. I sort of just trace out the path of where the rest of this is going to go. We should have a bigger attic, just saying. We should have a bigger attic? Yes. But we don't need an attic, though. Why not? Um, well, what do we what do we need an attic for? Well, we need an attic so that we can just bide there. Well, but we have a basement. Well, not a whole lot of people come in the basement, just saying. Yeah, well, not a whole lot of people. Even fewer people go in our attic. It's really just me, and that's only when I need to fix something, wiring or whatever. Wiring. Oh. It's horrible. It's almost as horrible as this creature. <laughs> what you guys don't realize is that I asked Bennett not to talk too much crap about this creature because he was like, ugh, this thing is so gross looking, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, come on, 
people requested this, so he's actually kind of digging at me every time you hear him say that. Dad, you know that you, this is also coming from the same guy who said who said I who says I say this, like, oh, eat my beep, <laughs> eat my beep, YouTube. Did you have you never said eat my crap? To YouTube. Oh, but think. By the way, I was kind of edited it down because I don't want us to get demonetized. <laughs> well, I mean, YouTube is kind of strict. Even though we're not, you know, necessarily labeled as for kids, a lot of kids do watch our stuff, and so. Including oh, my I... students. I definitely don't want to be swearing a bunch in front of any of my students from my school. Oh, well, allow me. Crap, 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 I don't think just saying the word crap a lot is going to be enough to do it. Am I allowed to say the A word? No. Am I allowed to say the S word? No. Okay. I'm sorry, I think I need to finish trying these a little bit quicker so that Bennett doesn't get us demonetized. Don't worry, Dad. I'm only going to say something really pol political. Is that I vote for... I vote for these, these nuts for All president. right, so... That's like, ah, oh, Bennett, what have I done? What have I raised? What have I raised? Okay, yeah, but I'm serious. I'm gonna stop. All right, let's color this guy. Let's go. Fun this, fact about this guy. You know, if people are watching this, they probably like Seahorse, my friend. I don't know if you're making any. Oh well, anyway, I'm making any friends with your unpopular Seahorse opinions. Well, anyway, you guys, I have a very interesting fun fact about seahorses. The that... males have the babies. Yes, that only the males can get pregnant. Which is funny to me. Like, I think there's there's comedian Jim Gaffigan who has a funny routine about that. He says. Uh, it says that the two scientists are looking at uh, seahorses, and the one scientist says that's the male. The other scientist says that one's pregnant. So the first scientist responds, "Uh, well, uh, the males have the babies." <laughs> I feel like in any species, I'm again, I'm not trying to be controversial or anything, but I feel like in any species, if you're the one having the baby, you're probably the female. Yeah. I mean, just... I, I suppose you know people can identify as as male and have babies, but... I mean, if you ever do, then that would be very odd, but still. I don't know. I, like I said, I'm not trying to be controversial, not. but... It's just kind of funny that... If you're an animal... No, obviously people are different, but if you're an animal and you're having the baby, it seems like you'd be the female. I don't know. I don't know. It just, it just makes more sense. I mean, not to sound racist or anything. I mean, not to sound sexist or anything, but it sound, makes more sense in my opinion. Well, there you go, friends. There you go. I'm not sexist. Well, anyhow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna forget about that. And, and, uh, I'm not sure why I let you get me into this conversation. Make sure to like and subscribe. Please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like and subscribe and comment about more stuff. Comment and tell Bennett how wrong he is about yes. seahorses and other like, things. Like, comment, subscribe, and do it! Or else, or else a leprechaun's gonna rip out his own intestine. Rip out his own intestines and wrap it around your neck. Anyhow, um, on your screen you see our logo. Go ahead and click on that to subscribe. Ring that bell to yes. be notified each and every time we make a new video and put it out. Also, smash one of those. And last but certainly not least, let us know what you think in the comments. What do you want to see? What do you think of our drawings? What do you think about Bennett's terrible opinions? <laughs> what? I don't have terrible Until next time, friends, goodbye. <laughs>